Hey guys, this is KSP with Tape, and today you join me in KSP 0.23.5, the new asteroid update, which has uh, obviously added asteroids to the um, to the game and things to uh, rendezvous with asteroids and pull them into orbit, and a bunch of new parts. And I'm not looking at the asteroids right today because everyone will be doing that, so you can probably go find that by literally typing in. KSP asteroids, but what I am looking at today is one of the new parts, not one of the big 2.3 meter things, or the huge SRBs, or the uh, escape system, or the new flags, or the cool lights, or any of that. I'm looking at the ion drive, which now has four times the power, bringing it up to a great two killer newtons of thrust. I know, I bet you're glad you watched this video instead of uh, another one. Uh, but what makes it interesting is now it's a viable lander, so you join me around Minmus, and there is something on the surface. Who knows what that is? A base of some kind, it looks. Um, yeah, so I can now land on Minmus, possibly the moon, I reckon, with this. Um, the drawback is it does need a huge solar panel. Basically, they've upped the power by four, and down uh, and down the like electric charge used by four, so it uses the same amount of electric charge as before, but... Um, uh, but the, but with more power. Uh, now having two kill of thrust in a ion drive is highly unrealistic. Um, obviously, now that I can land on other um, uh, land on things, but it's it's it gives it a bit of fun, and I might be using it in my s series. I've just started the Operation Blackhawk thing, which is space battley stuff and cinematic, and probably is only good because of the music I used. Anyway, I'm just going to warp around to the dark side and quickly deorbit and show you the huge power of the ion drive. And the best thing about ion drives is they are ridiculously efficient. I think they get something like a f ISP of 4,000. Alright, watch my periat drop. I haven't fired up the ion drive. Oh yeah. Oh, that's faster than I thought it would be. I thought it would be really lame, but that's cool. Boom. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, this is now more of a less terribly painful use for something. Wait a minute. Why is that lit up? Oh, the sun is rising. I thought it had got some awful glitch. That would have annoyed me. I would have been very angry. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying twice now, um, I, I now might use this in uh, the Operation Blackhawk series, which I will be turning into a series because I had a lot of fun, and it got like... It's only had like 35 views or something so far, and it's had 7 likes, which is like the most liked anything's ever got on my channel, which is, uh, well, no, joint most liked, but the other one had like more views. So I'm looking, I'm feeling pretty good about that, and it's a ridiculous amount of fun blowing things up. Who knew? Oh wait, me, because blowing stuff up is fun. Anyway, so what I actually have here, apparently nothing now, apparently that's the thing. Annoying zoom glitches recently. So anyway, what is on this lander? There are three landing legs. I only used three because lightness. Although it could obviously use four. This lands pretty well. Look at the deceleration. It's crazy. Um, I, one tank of down. That's all I need. It's incredibly efficient. And I could put radial tanks on. That's good. A battery, a probe core, and the solar generator. Um, otherwise known as a solar power. Solar power. As a solar panel. Uh, it, it is a solar power could land on that plateau, or maybe I'll just land wherever the hell it puts me down. Um, actually, that looks really flat. I might try that. How do I how do I turn sideways? Hmm, maybe turn sideways, Peter. Okay. Upwards. How's that looking? Just go upwards. Be more up. Okay. This is more responsive than I thought. In addition, they have... You know what? Ugh, I can't land on that slope. Bloody hell. Okay, I'm pointing the exact wrong way. Okay, I haven't got this on chase mode, so I have no idea what's going on. What the f- Oh, Jesus, I'm getting some serious orbit up now. Anyway, that's actually a pretty good demonstration of how, uh, how powerful they are on drivers. Um, I just screwed this up, basically. Right, let's burn downwards. Well, not burn. You don't burn that on an ion drive. Got to figure out which way to point as well. Nope, other way. Or was that the right way? Who knows? Wow, I have completely forgotten how to play KSP. Apparently. Right, that'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. That was the worst act. I wasn't even Scottish. I wasn't even going for Scottish. I'm, I'm awful at just everything today. It's late. Leave me alone. Yeah. Anyway, um. 
In other small lander news on KSP, you can now uh, you can now know basically they've also upgraded the power of ant engines, the radial and normal ones, which was sorely needed. So now those aren't absolutely terrible. So that's good. I'm just gonna warp to save you time. Bye, Minmus, and now we're coming back. You cannot escape the massive gravity of Minmus, even with your gigantically powerful ion drives. And oh my god, I forgot that the planet rotated. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, um, other new things, except from the asteroid, is those 3.5 meter parts. Those are useful. Um, 3.5 meters is pretty, uh, pretty hefty, especially for KSP, because in real life, like, fairly smallish rockets, like Falcon 9. So kind of average rockets would use that kind of thing, but something like, um, I think the parts, they're like looks and skins, are modeled after, um, the upcoming NASA's, uh, upcoming Spacia launch system, which... We'd, that's going to be awesome. Um, if you don't know, that's going to be like a... Um, at first, it's going to be a 70-ton lifter, and they won't even have a top stage on it. That's even more powerful than Falcon Heavy. I'll have to do a rocket race. <gasps> and then when they upgrade it, 120-ton lifter, more powerful than Saturn V. Okay, we're about to land or crash, because... Oh, yeah, probably crash. So, yeah, that'll be good. Um, but obviously, in real life, the... Um, Spacia launch system will be a huge amount bigger than 3.5 meters in diameter, 3.75 meters in diameter, but it's still a nice addition to the game. At first I was like, well you don't really need that, because I mean, I build pretty hefty lifters without even the asparagus staging it. Like, I think, what was it, Harv, he made that huge giant asparagus stage, very unrealistic, but still pretty freaking awesome, 100 ton lifter. But I'm interested to see what people can do, like asparagusing the hell out of 3.5 meter parts with like huge engines. That'll be an unre an unholy lander. Okay, this is annoying camera mode now. I can't believe I completely forgot how the controls work. I don't know how high up I am either. Pretty low down, as it turns out. God, that's responsive. That's like flying with something that isn't terrible. You see that? I slowed myself down in a matter of seconds. That is... That is good. And another, like, little things, because they've added, like, uh, stuff like, um... Oh, God, I'm going directly sideways? What's going on? There you go. Um, they've added little things like being able to time warp in the space center, and the, um... Oh, now I'm going upwards. You can have, like, time warp in the space center, and the, um... Tracking station. And, uh, if you look up at the top left, uh, there are mods installed, but none of them work because they've changed the framework of the game. But on the top left, that time warp looks very slightly nicer. And they've added a bunch of great new stuff to the maneuver node planners, but I think you have to kind of get used to it. Because, yeah. But anyway, that is almost down on Minmus. God, I was like, I'll do a quick video. It's been almost nine minutes because I screwed this up so much. I may cut some of that out. Ah. <sighs> We're coming down pretty, uh, pretty nicely. This is incredibly responsive. I, yeah, I am looking forward to using this in actual spacecraft, mainly my uh, Operation Black Hawk series. If you haven't seen that, that's as I said, cinematic battles with awesome music that I'm allowed to use because YouTube said they have a really awesome library for music that you can use in video, and it was awesome. I just downloaded all of it and was like, hmm, <clears throat> what shall I use? Okay, we're about to touch down. But for a level a little more. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Anyway, that is us down on Minmus with an ion drive. That's a very basic lander. I bet it will be, um... Well, one of the things that makes uh, stuff like this when they slightly overpower parts... Um, I'm just going to save this. Uh, when they slightly overpower parts, you're like, oh, no, but now career mode, it's like, yeah, but you have to work really hard to get them because I'm still not on them in my career mode because... I spent so much time developing a space shuttle instead of actually getting science. Um, and um, I was going to say something else, but I have completely forgotten. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, oh, and they'll be really expensive when they implement the costs. That was what I was going to say. Anyway, this has been KSP with Tape. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, feel free to drop a like and such. Anyway, this has been KSP with Tape. I'll see you next time.